Hey everyone, I am Mason Sullenberger, Applications Engineer with Akuma. Today I'm going to be walking you through our spindle speed variation function and why it is important. At some point in time, everyone has had to fight chatter in their parts. In situations like this, where you have a small diameter and a long stick out, you're going to be especially prone to chatter. And that is what our spindle speed variation function is going to help prevent. So with our spindle speed variation function, you can set your parameters one of two ways. You can press your parameters button, come to other function, and numbers 45, 46, and 47, you can type in your numbers. Number 45, amplitude of change would be the percentage of your spindle RPM that the RPM will fluctuate. Number 46, the cycle of change is going to be how long it takes for the spindle RPM to get to your upper and lower limits. And then 47 is going to be how long it is going to dwell at your high and low limit. If you don't want to set it in your parameter page, you can save the settings in each cutting program so it's specific to that job. Here you can see the difference between our two parts, the left one using standard G97 and the right one using our spindle speed variation function that is standard on all our machines and has been for almost 20 years. <laughs> 